Good morning. My name is Sin Bagley and today is April 14th and I'm doing my daily I Ching practice. I'm a little late this morning. was quite tired last night um, and it's a little awkward today because I got my little doggie sitting on my lap but if she pops her head up you'll know that uh, she's interested in what's happening. Okay so first <coughs> I will take three deep breaths. All right, I'll cast the coin sixteen six times. One, two, three. four, five, and six. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, if you see that little ear, that's the dog. She bumped the, the computer. All right. So, uh, the first hexagram is receptive power. And that's changing lines so I will read those and there's several so changing line two let movement and stillness meet when action springs naturally from inner calm and proceeds to harmonize with external creative forces all is well good results are achieved without contrivance complex intentions or even great effort let nature serve as a reminder of how, without artificia, artificiality, everything good can develop naturally. Changing line three says, Leave the pursuit of fame and praise to others at present. Focus on accepting yourself unconditionally. Freedom from vanity gives you a powerful advantage. Do not display your virtue for all to see, but nurture it within yourself. Try to be of service and your life will improve by itself. Allow fruit to ripen slowly. Quiet perseverance is what is called for. Changing line four. If things are not going well, be reserved and act with caution. It's possible that an antagonistic force has been aroused against you, causing whatever you do to be misunderstood. Avoid challenging this force right now. That would only bring about hateful retaliation. On the other hand, you should also avoid the appearance of capitua capitulation. Ah, too many lung words this morning. Which could allow the force to gather strength against you, maintain your reserve and caution, and lose yourself in solitude or in the tumult of the crowd. Don't let yourself be a target. Okay, the second hexagram is endurance. I get this one a lot. Endurance is cultivated when determination is coupled with flexibility. Long distance runners must adapt to changing conditions while maintaining a strong sense of purpose. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Two trees growing near each other bend and adapt to enhance each other's survival. A strong image of durability is a stable relationship of intimate partners that strikes a ba dynamic balance between involvement in the outside world and nourishment in the home. True endurance is not based on rigidity, because endurance implies flexibility, not being locked in position. Only by adapting to change can we stay in the race, and only by deepening our sense of purpose can we call forth the strength to win it. Continuity is achieved through movement, not by keeping still. That which has ceased to grow is degrading toward death. Be actively changing, but stay strongly connected with your roots, your deepest thoughts and feelings. Anyway, hopefully you have a good morning. 
and a great day. I thought I should talk to you about the deep breaths. Uh, the reason why I do three deep breaths is that it helps me to center myself. I feel the breath going down. I feel it in inside my chest and I feel and actually lower. If, if any of you are singers, it's that type of deep breath and as it comes out and it centers and grounds me into my body and also is a calming influence. Um, I've heard in some cases that's um, when someone is trying hypnosis, uh, say in a clinical setting, they will start it with three deep breaths. But I've found that it is um, a precursor to meditation. Anyway, I thought you'd like to know. Uh, there's There may be other things about the three deep deep breaths. Uh, look it up. I'm sure there's a lot talked about it, about um, centering and grounding you inside your body. All right, well, have a good day and take care of yourself. Bye.